This is Melody and today we're going to have a really short but hopefully informative video. I'm going to be telling you how I take care of my Copic markers and this is me struggling to get it in focus. Um, there we go. So of course we have the Copic markers and then we have the Copic refills and that's probably one of the best things about these markers is these refills can fill up your marker about 15 or so times, but they cost about the same price as just buying a marker. So it's really worth your money to buy the refills instead of buying new markers. If you need to replace your tip, they have different types of nibs, so just buy the kind that you need. Um, you'll need tweezers to get the tip out, or at least that's how I've found it easiest to do. And as you see when I kind of zoom in, this tip is really crystallized. And you might be able to revive it by soaking in isopropyl alcohol to bleach it out or adding more ink sometimes work if it isn't too bad. But in this case, I decided to just replace the tip altogether. As you can see, this marker also looks like it's been bleeding a lot. So there's a lot of ink around the part of the marker where you might be holding it. So a really easy way to clean that up is again, just by taking some isopropyl alcohol, putting it on a Q-tip or paper towel or something and wiping it away. You can do the same thing if the cap has a lot of residue, but um, you can actually soak it by pouring isopropyl alcohol into a bowl or some sort of container and it'll take it out. I find that a lot easier for the caps. So when you have the correct type of nib, just kind of stick it in there and you're going to want to push it down and make sure that it's really firmly in. And then when you get to the point of refilling it, the way that I found easiest is to touch the tip to the tip of the ink disposer. I guess is what you could call it, and just slowly drop it down. Don't go too fast because it'll take a little bit of time for the nib to start absorbing the ink. If you go too fast, you'll just make a really big mess. But make sure that you put enough ink in there that when you're done, the tip looks nice and plump and juicy. It's always a good idea to just do a couple strokes, make sure it's working fine, and that's it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.